welcome back to Career Jumpstart series. I am Sarah Hayes, one of the peer advisors for Letty. I am a junior studying informatics with a minor in media and creative advertising. Today, I am super excited about this episode because we will be talking about women in tech. And I'm actually gonna be interviewing my sister, who is a Letty School of Informatics Computing and Engineering alumni. So Amy, do you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, my name is Amy Hayes. Um, I graduated from IU in May of 2020. Um, I graduated with an informatics major and a business cognate and a business minor. And I now currently am a risk systems analyst uh, for a company called Origami Risk. Um, and I'm located in Denver, Colorado. So like I said, uh, she's encouraged me a ton and given me tons of word wisdom and advice just on my career and going forward. So I'm excited to for her to share that with everyone else as well. Uh, starting off, Amy, why did you decide that you wanted to work in tech and specifically chose an informatics major? Yeah, so um, I wanted to work in tech for the obvious reason, of course. Um, is a popular field to be in and um, it's growing super fast. Uh, I originally thought I wanted to do accounting. I knew I loved numbers, um, but I thought I wanted to do um, numbers in a different kind of way. Um, it wasn't until I took a, my first informatics classes that I realized I liked numbers when it came to algorithms and problem solving and doing things like puzzles. Um, so I'm so glad I chose informatics. Um, like I said, I love to problem solve. I love algorithms. Um, I feel like after uh, the classes I've taken to, I have a lot of skills to offer a company. Yeah, uh, it's funny. I, are you working on a puzzle right now or no? No, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> she always is doing a puzzle and I'm always like, Amy, hang out with me. <laughs> um, Thank you for that answer. I like how you said, like, for you originally saw yourself in accounting and then realized that you like the algorithm aspect. And I think that's pretty cool because uh, I think as a woman starting in tech, your path is always changing. So it's interesting how you tried a few different things. Uh, sure. Next question is, how does it feel to be a woman in tech? Um, I enjoy being a woman in tech. I love it, actually. I feel like it's a bit of a challenge um, and a challenge that I love. Um, you work hard in the tech field. Um, you work hard, play hard. Um, it's an environment that I love. In the tech field, they really understand the work-life balance and uh, being a woman, that is extremely important to me. I feel um, there's a certain respect for women in the tech field and because of that I enjoy being a woman in tech and mm. I feel confident being a woman in tech and um, I absolutely love it yeah uh, going off of that what advice would you give to a woman exploring the IT world yeah um, I feel like I have a lot of advice <laughs> not that I'm wise but um, yeah. I feel like I learned a lot in college, obviously, and continue to learn and grow myself. I would say immerse yourself um, in every single opportunity. I know right now um, it's a little bit harder with COVID, but I would take advantage of all the free online webinars and conventions and conferences. I went to Grace Hopper and that was one of the greatest experiences ever. Um, I will absolutely never forget it. It was so encouraging, empowering, enlightening, um, all of the above. I would also suggest finding a mentor, um, whether that be another student or a professor or someone in a club that you're a part of. I think that's extremely important because then you get to understand where um, where and how they got to uh, what they're doing today. and it's almost like finding a cheat sheet in life because you get to um, ask them questions and learn from their mistakes and you didn't have to um, actually make that mistake yourself. So I think that would be another piece of advice. 
um, I would say learn different parts of the field for informatics. Um, originally, I thought informatics was strictly coding and little did I know that I was wrong. Uh, I've learned a lot of SQL and database management and that's um, a lot of what I'm doing right now. I would also say um, ask questions to professors, to a mentor, get um, comfortably, comfortable being uncomfortable because in this field, it's a lot of learning, it's a lot of growing. And lastly, I would say give yourself grace for being uncomfortable and uh, learning and growing and asking questions and not knowing what you're doing. And yeah. Yeah. So reiterating, um, uh, take advantage of the opportunities, which I feel like you've emphasized a lot as I've been going through Letty, um, finding a mentor, asking questions, becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable, which I think the being comfortable with the uncomfortable speaks volumes, especially because uh, there's so many different opportunities and fields in the IT world. And I think when you start to first explore, it can kind of be intimidating. But I think once you figure out how to be comfortable with the uncomfortable, instead of uh, stopping and turning around, you're able to learn and grow from that. So that's something that you've definitely uh, like emphasized in my experiences. So I appreciate that. Um, is there anything else that you would like to say? Any questions, comments? before we wrap this up no i don't think so this was fun thanks for having me yeah thanks for uh coming i really appreciate all of your answers they're very thorough and like i said in the beginning and i've said throughout i'm so excited for everyone else to hear this episode because i think you gave great advice and there's so much more to be said so Hopefully we can do a second episode in the future, but everyone will just have to keep an eye out for that one. <laughs> um, but that's a wrap for this week's Letty Career Jumpstart series. See you next time where each week we will discuss a different topic focused on helping you jumpstart your career in tech. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. Thanks Amy.